All right, so today I've got 17 websites for you that pay daily. And some of these websites you can make a full-time income with easily. And the first one on the list is going to be Fat Llama. And this is a website where you can actually rent stuff that you're not currently using to other people. So for instance, let's say you bought a camera one year because you wanted to take some photos and then you used it for about a month. And then after that, you probably pull it out about once a year. Well, with Fat Llama, you can take that camera and rent it out to other people in your area. And it's not just cameras. You you can rent out many different things such as DJ equipment, drones, electronics, musical instruments, projectors, electric scooters, vehicles, and even sewing machines. And usually when you rent these items out, you'll make somewhere between 10 and $1,000 a day. And there are some lenders on Fat Llama that make over $10,000 per month. So some of the pros here are you can turn your collection of items that is collecting dust into a steady source of income. You can also connect with other people who are interested in the same things that you are. And you have flexibility in setting rental prices. Some of the cons here are the need to ensure security and returns on your rented items, the potential for wear and tear on your belongings, and for some items there might be limited demand or on the other side of the spectrum there might be way too much competition. So yeah this can be a great way to make money from things that would just be sitting there anyways. I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Are you tired of your neighbors borrowing your lawnmower, stealing your parking spots, and making you question the meaning of life? Well what if I told you there's a website that can turn those pesky neighbors into your own personal cash cows. And this is exactly what neighbor does. So basically, if you have extra space in your house or your backyard, you can rent that space out to your neighbors or really anybody in your town. And you can think of neighbor almost like an Airbnb for your attic, a tender for your garage, and a matchmaker between your empty basement and someone desperately seeking a home for their collection of vintage bobbleheads. And people who use neighbor typically earn somewhere between 50 and $600 per month. So that's really good money considering you're basically not having to do any work at all. So some of the pros here are you can return your idle storage spaces into a reliable source of income. You can help your neighbors out by providing them with much needed storage solutions. And you have a flexible schedule as well as control over the the rental space. Some of the cons here are the need for strong security measures to protect people's stuff, potential challenges in dealing with difficult or demanding tenants, and limited availability in certain areas. So who knew that you had a gateway to a gold mine hiding behind the door of your dusty basement? Now realistically, you're probably not going to make a full-time income, but it is extremely passive and you make a decent amount of money per month. So I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. So picture this, getting paid to share your opinions as if your thoughts are the golden nuggets that everyone has been waiting to hear, and being the steep jobs of ideas. And the best thing is you can get paid to do it. It's like the dream job of every annoying person at a dinner party. And you can do this all with Google Opinions, which is a platform where you can earn rewards by taking surveys and sharing your thoughts and opinions on various topics. Basically, you're going to be taking surveys that are run by market researchers. And in exchange, you'll receive payments from Google Opinion Rewards via PayPal. And you can think of Google Opinions as a virtual suggestion box where you can drop your ideas, opinions, and critiques. And in return, they're going to toss you some shiny rewards kind of like a vending machine that dispenses treats for your brain. And what sets Google Opinions apart from other survey websites is, of course, its connection to Google, the almighty search engine. And this means that companies can much more easily ask the right questions to the right people. And you'll receive between 10 cents and $1 per survey completed. And these surveys are usually very quick, and there's a lot more availability than a lot of the other survey websites. So some of the pros here are you get to earn rewards for sharing your opinion, so you don't have to annoy other people at dinner parties anymore. You have the flexibility to complete the survey, at your own pace, and you have the opportunity to influence products and services that you probably already use. Some of the cons are there can be limited availability of surveys based on your demographics. There is potential for repetitive or lengthy surveys, and in some cases, the rewards may vary. But overall, this one is well-respected. Obviously, it's an extremely established company, and Google does put out really good products. So I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Are you ready to unleash your inner digital entrepreneur and make money from home without having to leave the comfort of your potential? pajamas? Well, welcome to Gumroad, the website that combines your creative genius with money-making aspirations and a harmonious symphony of online success. Or as I like to call it, the magical marketplace where dreams and dollars collide. And this is the website that allows creators, writers, musicians, and SaaS developers to create and sell digital products and earn a steady stream of income. And you can sell just about anything on this website from resume templates to courses, to checklists, to notion templates. And here's an article about Jason who made $239,000 in one year by selling 
selling Notion templates on Gumroad. And he's literally a 20 year old from Singapore. So the price range for Notion templates typically are gonna range from five to several hundred dollars. So some of the pros here are their unlimited products and no monthly fees. You also have global reach and access to a large customer base. And it simplifies the process of creating and selling digital products. Some of the cons here are there is gonna be a lot of competition from other people selling in the marketplace. And if you wanna make a lot of money, you're gonna have to learn marketing skills. So you can embrace your creative genius, join the ranks of successful online entrepreneurs, and you can let Gumroad be your gateway to financial independence. Because who needs a day job when you can make money online, one digital creation at a time. So with Gumroad, you do have potential to make incredible money, but the truth is it's a little bit harder to start than a lot of the other ones on this list. So for that reason, I'm gonna give this one seven out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next one on the list is gonna be kind of like a digital flea market for photographs, where photographers can showcase their digital treasures and buyers can stumble upon hidden gems they never knew they needed. And that's going to be FOAP. And this is a website where you can upload videos and photos and get paid for them. So basically you send them your videos and photos and they will market them for you. And when an agency or a brand wants to use those videos or photos, they buy them and you get a cut of it. So there are a bunch of different websites out there like this and FOAP is one of the better ones. And you can make around $5 per photo you take every time someone buys it. And believe it or not, amateur photography and amateur videography is one of the most popular categories. So a lot of the time brands will like to use the amateur look in their marketing and advertising. So the pros here are you have an opportunity to make money from your passion. You have an access to a global marketplace where your photos can be discovered. So they're basically marketing for you. And you have exposure to photo missions and requests where brands will basically say, hey, we want this type of video and you can record it, send it in and they'll pay you for it. Some of the cons here are competition from a large pool of photographers, the need for consistent quality and marketplace image to attract buyers, the uncertainty of sales and the potential for low return on investments and limited control over pricing. So you can try out FOAP and there's a small chance that one day you might be snapping some pictures and videos on your iPhone and the next day you see them on your TV. This one is gonna get a seven out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is gonna be kind of like a website that pays you to be a gossip columnist except about products. And that's going to be Second to None, which is a mystery shopping website. This is basically where you use products and you give your feedback on them. And you'll typically earn more than $10 per assignment. And in some cases, you get to keep the product. So it's not crazy good money, but if you're gonna shop anyways, you might as well make some money for it. So some of the pros here are you can get paid to shop. In some cases, you get to keep the products and you also get to try out a wide range of products and services. Some of the cons here are it doesn't pay all that well. It can be extremely repetitive and you may have to use products that you don't particularly care about. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now the next one on the list is gonna be a great opportunity for you to unleash your inner wordsmith and conquer the digital realm with your amazing writing skills. And this is going to be clear clear voice where you get to write for top brands around the world. And this is kind of like a digital hub where writers, educators, and business owners come together to create captivating digital content. So it's kind of like a dating app except for writers and brands. And on this site, you'll make about $100 for a 1,000 word article, which is about 10 cents per word. So the pros of this one are you have access to top-notch brands, you can make very good money, and it's a great networking opportunity. The cons of this one are tight deadlines. Sometimes you'll have to do a lot of revisions and there can be a lot of competition. But overall, I think this is gonna be a great opportunity. Writing is definitely very valuable and it's gonna be even more valuable over the next 10 years. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be an exciting platform where you can earn money by showcasing your intellectual prowess. And it's kind of like a game show, but with real money at stake. And that's going to be enrollapp.com. And basically this lets them know what you think of their products. Now this is a legit company, but each app you take will only earn you about 10 cents. Now the tests are quick and easy, but that's pretty low pay. So the pros here are the opportunity to earn daily cash rewards. There's a wide variety of tests and topics to choose from, and you have the flexibility to participate at your own pace. You can basically take these tests on your phone anytime that you want to. The cons here are low pay. There can be a lot of competition and it can take time to build up your reputation to maximize your earning potential. So you do make more over time, but overall, I'm going to give this one a five out of 10 opportunity score. So in the next one, imagine that you're a secret agent, but instead of taking down villains, you're going to be walking down shopping aisles and making money on the side. And you can do that with field agent. And this is basically where you go to physical locations in your local area and you answer questions about products. And this is kind of like being a retail ninja, but instead of having nunchucks, you've got a smartphone. And typically these gigs pay between three and $10. So that means you'll make typically somewhere between 10 all the way up to $25 per hour. So some of the pros of this one are the opportunity to earn money while completing 
completing tasks in your local area, a flexible work schedule, and a chance to contribute to market research. Some of the cons of this one are earnings may vary depending on the location that you live. Some tasks may require specific qualifications. And at first, you're typically not going to be paid as well, and you kind of have to build up your reputation. So overall for this one, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next one on the list is going to be a great opportunity for you to unleash your creative genius and get paid to do it. And that's with a website called Etsy, where they only sell original art. So they don't sell any mass produced art. And typically it's going to be like handmade things like rings, but you can also sell digital products as well. But the whole point here is it's made by individuals. And so it's more unique. And there are many sellers out there bringing in over $50,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are global exposure. You know, they basically do the marketing for you, access to a large community of buyers that are looking for unique creations and the opportunity to turn your passion into a profitable business. Some of the cons here are high competition from other sellers. You may need to market in order to really stand out and managing inventory and shipping logistics can be a pain in the butt. So overall, Etsy is tougher to get into. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you've ever felt like a deflated balloon, here's a website where you can inflate your brain cells while making money. And that's on a website called Schooly, where knowledge meets cash and you can earn money as a virtual tutor while you're still wearing your pajamas. Now I have talked about this many times on my channel, but tutoring is one of my absolute favorite side hustles. I personally made over $180 per hour as a tutor when I was going to college and Schooly makes this process incredibly easy and you can earn about $25 per hour. So the pros of this one are you do have a flexible work schedule. You have access to a wide range of students and subjects to teach, and you can earn daily income for your tutoring sessions. Some of the cons of this one are at first, it may be difficult to get students. You have a lot of competition from other tutors on the platform, and it does require very strong teaching and communication skills. But overall, I think Schooly is great. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the next one on the list is a website that allows you to get paid for things that you would probably already be doing anyways. And that's gonna be QMe, which is an online platform that rewards you for doing everyday activities. And this includes shopping, searching, taking surveys, and giving your opinions. Now there are options for both passive and active income. There are people out there passively making like $3 per day, which is about $1,000 a year, but some of the surveys can be pretty low paying and you'll make around one to $3 per hour. So the pros of this one are you get to earn money passively for everyday activities. It easily integrates with popular web browsers and it's super easy to get started. Some of the cons are the earnings can be relatively low and the surveys can be somewhat limited. So this is a great way to earn a couple extra bucks a day. I probably would not be taking the surveys because they don't pay all that well. So I'm going to give this one a five out of 10 opportunity score. Now the next one on the list is very common and very well known, but it's honestly pretty good money. And that's going to be Uber Eats delivery service. And this is basically where you pick up food from a restaurant and you deliver it to a person. And Uber Eats delivery drivers make about $19 per hour, which is around $39,000 per year. And it's super easy to get started with this. You basically don't have to have any skills at all. So this can be a great way to make money in between jobs or while you're studying to get a better job down the line. So the pros here are it's very flexible. You can basically work whenever you want. You have the opportunity to earn money while exploring your city. And there's typically a lot of jobs available. Some of the cons are the income can vary depending on factors like location and whether your customers tip or not. You can have a lot of wear and tear on your vehicle and working during peak times usually means you're gonna have to deal with a lot of traffic. But overall, this is very solid. It's a great way to make money if you're in between jobs and you just need to start making money right away. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is gonna be a great opportunity for you to maximize your skills and monetize your skills by completing tasks for clients worldwide. And that's going to be trymata.com. And some of the skills include graphic design, writing, coding, and consulting. And this is kind of like a bustling marketplace where you can set up your own digital stall. And a lot of the time you'll be getting paid to test websites and apps. And typically you'll get paid $10 or more per test. And they also pay out daily through PayPal. So the pros of this one are opportunity to earn money while showcasing your skills, the flexibility ability to choose projects that align with your interests and skills and an access to a global network of clients. Some of the cons include competition, availability of projects, and it can be hard to make money right off the bat. You kind of have to establish your reputation. So overall, this one can be good, but it's a little bit hard to get into. I'm going to give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Now the next on the list is probably going to surprise you, but it's honestly a really good place to earn money. And that is Facebook marketplace. I personally know people that are making over six figures a year using Facebook. 
Facebook Marketplace. And Facebook Marketplace is kind of like Craigslist, but with more of a personal touch. And I know people, for instance, who live stream on Facebook and make a ton of money. And this is a great opportunity because literally 35% of the world's population is on Facebook. So you have a marketplace of 2.91 billion people. So the pros here are you can make a ton of money. There's also a wide variety of different things you can sell and it's extremely flexible. The cons are it's not super easy to get started and you kind of have to figure things out on your own. But overall, I'm gonna give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a global marketplace for print on demand products. And basically this is user submitted artwork that is made into products such as clothing. And that's gonna be on the website Redbubble. And when it comes to the salary, there are many people making over $100,000 a year and you will get 50% of whatever you sell. But with that being said, this is more of an entrepreneurial endeavor, and it can be very difficult to start making money. But if you are successful, it can be an incredible opportunity. So the pros here are the opportunity to monetize your artistic skill, a wide range of products available for your design, and access to a global marketplace of potential customers. Some of the cons are there is, of course, high competition. Redbubble does take 50%, which is quite a bit, and you have limited control over the production and shipping process. So overall, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one is going to empower freelancers to scale their content marketing efforts through a free online portfolio, AI-powered client matching, and exclusive tools and integrations. And that's going to be writeraccess.com, which is basically a content creation platform. So you can do just about any type of content creation on this website. Now, a lot of these freelancing platforms have really bad reviews online, but this one actually has really good feedback. And on this platform, you'll typically make somewhere between $27 and $30 per hour as a writer. And I've said this before on the channel, but almost all good content comes from good writing. So the pros of this one are access to a vast network of clients, AI-powered client matching and advanced search capabilities, and there's a lot of perks and benefits to being on the website. Some of the cons of this one are the screening process can be somewhat difficult, competition among freelancers can be intense, and you have to manage client expectations. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, my friend Troy has a company called Course Careers where he teaches people how to get into a lot of these in-demand careers as quickly as possible. A lot of the ones on this list you can get into right away. Course Careers, typically it's gonna take you somewhere between between one to three months, but the jobs are much better paying and one person was able to land an IT help desk job in seven days. And you can check out free training, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below in order to see how it works. And I also made a video on the 21 highest paying work from home jobs, which you can check out by clicking right here. 